everybody, it's Nicole with Stargazer Soaps. I am working on another luxury soap right now. I already have my Lye Solution in here. And my cream, I decided not to record that this time. Partly because my kids were talking to me and needed some help problem solving some things. Um, but this, where's my fragrance? Oh, there it is is going to be, um, I wouldn't call it a masculine soap, it's, I've been trying to find something that is, you know, watery, um, but not perfumey, and this is a dupe of a water body product, which happens to be one of my favorites. So I thought I'd order it and try it, and oh my goodness, I love it out of the bottle. It smells so good. Um, so I'm going to do this one mostly in blues and teals. I don't know how the contrast is going to be, but I'm just going to wing it. And I really don't know what technique I'm going to do. I'm just going to stir this in. I don't want to stick blend it if I don't have to because I am really, well, I have a steep water discount that I'm working with. So this is a teal or turquoise. I cannot remember. And I have blue. Oops. This is the, the teal. A little bit more in each of these. And then I'm going to leave a little bit for white here. Oh, it's ricing a little bit. That's okay. So I guess I'll have to stick blend it a little bit. Which that's alright. I was kind of anticipating having to stick blend the colors in anyway. So let's start with blue. It's getting a little thick. Hope you can see. I'm just mostly scraping this off the bottom and then I'll hit it with a stick blender in just a second here. This is my, oh wow, hello Micah. I just had powder in. I didn't mix it in oil. I normally do. Because that would be a good reason to mix it in oil next time. So you know what? I think I'm going to do this a different way. Pretty blue. That's pretty awesome. I'm going to go ahead and stick blend the color and then I will mix it up with my spatula. And this is the teal. than the teal, is it? Do I want to add a little white to it? Oh, I should have done my white first. This has been one of those, one of those days where, you know, it just, oh, and I just realized I forgot my sodium lactate. It just, uh, started out crazy and hectic and has just continued on that way for the rest of the afternoon. Just clean this off a little bit. 
I'm going to do the white. I'm going to measure out my sodium lactate here in a second. Incorporate loads of air bubbles. I'm going to pause for a second. I'm going to do the lac excuse me, the sodium lactate and the white. Some more white. Okay. Let's try that. Got my white mixed in. And my white is thick, 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 thick now. Blend in some of these colors. It's all getting thick. That didn't take me too terribly long. Trying to save spatulas, but that's not going to happen. I think this one almost needs some more blue. I'm going to add a little bit more blue to this. Very carefully. Yesterday I was making some soap balls, and I needed some pink. So I just opened up my little container, and it happened to be in a jar. So I opened up my container, and went to sprinkle some in and somehow I dumped the whole jar in. It was a brand new four ounce jar. They are the pinkest soap balls I have ever seen. And needless to say, we will be using them at home because they're going to bleed something fierce. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to stick blend this. <laughs> This is just going to be a plop, smack, plop situation here. That's okay. Oh, there's so much soap stuck in the stick blender. There we go. I don't know if I'm going to be doing any more soaking today or not. I love this blue. But I have uh, two more batches that I'd like to do. I haven't decided on fragrance or color, but because I haven't soaked in a month, I'm going to run out of soaps pretty fast. I have so many markets and festivals. I have something going on uh, every week through the end of September. Let's just, you know, let's just be wild and crazy. I've, I've never done this before. Time like the present. So I'm just going to. Plop it in, and maybe I'll take a skewer and voila. You can see that. Let's see if it can. I don't know. Just make it look all swirly and random, maybe. Why not? I'll add a little bit of white this next time. Maybe not so much of a teal because I'm running low on that already. Oh, the white is just, I could pipe this stuff right now. Uh, 
won't be surprised if we have if I have air pockets. I hope you can still see. At this point, I'm just going to try to get this in as quickly as I can before I can no longer scoop it. My hands are getting all messy. It still smells really good. I'm, I'm really happy with the scent. I really like the scent a lot. I don't want to do a white. I'll do white next round here. I'm almost out of teal. This is the teal, and that was, or this is turquoise. I don't know. One of these is turquoise. One of them is teal. I guess it doesn't really matter. This blue, that blue, and another version of blue. And almost soap on a stick white. I mean, it's like, if you can see that. <laughs> it's not even wanting to mix with the stick anymore. I can press it down in there. All right. I'm just going to do the top. hand is cramping and the spatula is slippery. Not the best time for that. My hand gets so tired from gripping spoons and stirring and mixing. But it doesn't stop me. I'm going to do the other teal. I'm going to do the blue last. Actually, I'm going to do the white last, but I'm going to do the blue blue with the last blue. So I'll be curious to see what this one looks like. I hope it's not a big air pocket. Catastrophe. Could be, but you know, I find that all the ones that I expect to be full of air pockets aren't, and the ones that I don't expect our pockets are full of them. This is a really pretty color. It's really shimmery. I'm sure you cannot see that in the camera. I hope that it stays. I like things that shimmer and sparkle and shine. burned my face a little bit ago with lye that has finally started to ease up so that's good I learned a valuable lesson don't touch your face with gloves on even if you are certain they're clean because apparently they're not let's hope I don't look like Rudolph okay, I'm trying to 
try and get every last bit out of here. You know, I don't know that I was even recording. I really, truly hope that I was. If I wasn't, this just uh, sat up really, really fast, and I've just been plopping it in. I think I was recording. It must have stopped recording. I don't know. That had to be it. Regardless, some of this didn't record, but I haven't missed anything than than me fighting with the soap. Just gonna scrape out the rest of the white. And then I'm gonna try to smush it down as best I can. I don't know what I'm doing. Just, I'm along for the ride. All right. Oh my gosh, it's so thick. trying to smooth it out because it just, it, I mean, it looks thick. I want it to look smooth and pretty. I don't want it to look thick and choppy. Although I guess it would be okay since it's supposed to be like water. It can kind of look like waves, huh? Okay, let's go with that. And we'll pretend that I meant for it to do that. Oh, hey, that's kind of cool. So this is what's great about not planning your soap. When it goes awry, I'm not heartbroken. Because I had no plan for it. I didn't know what I was going to do. Other than I wanted to soap this fragrance and it was going to be blue. Oops, with a little bit of white. Of course, I don't have a name for this. But it will be cured around July 24th, which is about four weeks from now. I'm doing a pretty steep water discount, so things are curing a little faster. It could be an extra week or so if I don't think it's curing as quickly as I want. I won't list it until I'm certain that it is ready. But let's get some glitter on here, just a little tiny touch of glitter. This soap could be masculine or feminine, in my opinion. So if you want to use it for um, the man in your life, um, the glitter doesn't stick to you. You're not going to be all glittery after your shower. My husband showers with glitter soap almost on a daily basis, and he does just fine. So, anyway, stay tuned for the cutting video. Keep your fingers crossed right along with me. Hopefully, um, there aren't any huge air pockets. And... Yeah, I'll attach the cutting video right behind this one. Okay, it's time to cut uh, my soap here. Hold on here. It's really late at night. All of the children are sleeping, so I'm going to try to be a little quiet. But I made this earlier today. And I won't have a, t a chance to cut it tomorrow for a while. It does look like I have some air pockets. Not surprised in the slightest. So it's still a little soft, but it's still it's pretty firm. So a couple of the end pieces. It kind of looks... Um, 
a little earthy almost. I don't have a name. I haven't had a chance to uh, really focus on naming this yet. I haven't been home much today. A little air pocket there. See if you want. My husband just walked in the room. It got really thick, and I had to just throw it in by spoonfuls. Wow. The powder came out neat, though. You can smell it. Well, that smells good. It's a rainy water type scent. So, nice big air pocket there. That's okay. It doesn't affect the soap any. And even though I swirled it around a ton, it doesn't really add a whole lot of swirls. But this will be cured around July 24th. And I will list it with a name, and it will be available at StargazerSoaps.com. Thanks for watching.